Hi folks, my name is David Gallant. I am Asia's official biographer. And we're here today to talk about this new book from Rocket 88, John Wetton, An Extraordinary Life. As opposed to a biography in the traditional sense, editor Nick Shilton has interviewed dozens of John's musical collaborators, as well as his family and friends. And if you were to read through the index, you'll notice that each individual chapter is dedicated to the reminiscences or the recollections of one of these individuals who are interviewed. For example, there are separate chapters for Jeff Downs, Steve Howe, Carl Palmer, of course, the three other original members of Asia, but also some of the giants of the progressive rock movement, Bill Bruford, Rick Wakeman, Steve Hackett, the list goes on. As John's friend and Asia's biographer, I was honored to be asked to contribute to the book and in my chapter, I recall meeting John for the very first time. It was in 1995, as John was touring a solo acoustic show to promote the Battle Lines album. And in a small club in Buffalo, New York, we met for the very first time. In fact, it was one of my all-time favorite concert experiences when John sang the song Hold Me Now from the Battle Lines album, which many of you would know. There was one line dedicated to his mother that you could have heard the pin drop when John sang this. Let me believe in a kiss that means nothing to you because it means the world to me. I met John backstage that night, which was basically in the stairwell next to the stage, and we hit it off right away. John couldn't have been more magnanimous. I was just a fan whose resume included a small internet newsletter unofficial, dedicated to Asia, its members and their ongoing bands and other solo pursuits. From that moment on, for the next more than 20 years, we would call each other regularly, email constantly. Anytime Asia was on the road, I would spend time with John after the show, in the morning, over breakfast. He was so free and giving um, with his time. We would discuss anything to do with Asia, his solo career, but the breadth of John's knowledge was staggering. He could discuss art, history, world affairs, anything under the sun, football, of course, and my own personal favorite, the movies that we loved. And I dearly miss those conversations. So anyway, I cannot recommend this book enough. Um, the other recollections from the other people who knew John were filled with all kinds of stories and tidbits about our beloved John that I never knew. There are also many, many photos I have never seen before. It's a fantastic souvenir for any fan of this great man, and I highly recommend it. And I thank you for listening, and I hope that you are well. Take care.